welcome to James the Lesser Express Line, where we get you in and out as fast as possible with The Hunt 2020. One of the most ridiculous, over-the-top movies I've ever seen. What's it about? Well, a bunch of people wake up. What the fuck is going on? Oh, there's a box. Don't open the box. It's obviously a trap. I want to open the box. They open the box and a pig comes out. And they pull something out of the box and it's a bunch of guns. And I was like, okay, well, what the hell is going on? Suddenly, gunfire. Panic! Scramble! <laughs> there was some good humor in it. It's like the one girl, wow, they almost hit me. Bam! Oh, that one did it. Almost. <laughs> there is a lot of blood and gore. It's very, uh, very hard R-rated. But, you know, the people that don't get killed in the initial ambush, they scatter. They find a gas station. They call for help. Well, this group goes off, and you never see them until much later in the story. This person disappears. That person escapes. These people get killed. Those people escape. And then they get recaptured and or spotted again. And there's grenades and machine guns and crossbows. And then you find out what's going on is the people being hunted are all right-wing nutters and then the people hunting them are left-wing nutters like literally no joke one of the lines is as the guy's chasing down with a machine gun shooting at him global climate change is real while shooting at him but on the other side like shooting back i know what i people shooting back at him and all that's like the fuck is going on in this movie the satire is so over the top it is just ridiculous now going in, it's like, all right, well, obviously someone survives. They want to make a movie where the people being hunted all die. Books might do that. Movies, not so much. And they love to throw you twists and turns like, oh, where are we? Oh, you're welcome to the great state of Arkansas. Wait a minute. Cigarettes only cost $6 in Arkansas. That price says $9.19. I'm not in Arkansas. And then along the way, it's like, oh, I'm one of the people that's being hunted. That's right. I saw at the beginning. Wait a minute. What if you're not? What if you're a spy? That's why you were able to survive on your own this long. Maybe that's what they want me to think. What if that is what they want me to think? They want me to think that they want me to think that they want me to think. <laughs> it's just, it's free on Amazon Prime with freebie. So like just commercials every now and then, but they actually have a timer at the bottom. It's like, I need to be. 120 seconds until the commercial over. All right, I got time. Which I thought, that was kind of nice. Like, oh no, I got to deal with commercials. But it's also, you know, timed. Which, I can imagine they did that in real life. Like, oh hey, we've got commercials playing. How much time do we got? Because sometimes they'll play like a, oh, there's a timeout and there's a 30 second commercial and then they come right back. Other times there's a timeout and it'll be three minutes until they get done with the commercials. Especially having a timer on it. Not bad. I didn't know exactly how long, because they weren't all 120 seconds. Some were 80, 90, 60. Hmm. I'm going on too much about the commercials, but it's just... The actual story itself... The twists and turns aren't as predictable as the ending. Like, I knew the ending is like, alright, at least one of these people is going to win. Which one? Or going to survive. Which one is going to survive? And it's just... Like, you know, you got the people doing the hunting. It's like, oh, uh, uh, we, we can't, we can't pick that. Well, there, there's a scene where it's like, oh, we picked this person. Oh, yeah, they're in. Oh, picture them, like, with a dead around the hunter. Like, oh, yeah, he's definitely in. And I was like, whoa, 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 we, we can't have a minority in this. Like, but I, I feel it'd be exclusionary and racist if we don't include at least one minority. <laughs> it's like, what the fuck? Like, it, it hits both sides with just over the top stupidity. Like, is it racist for us to hunt a minority? Is it racist for us not include at least one minority to hunt and kill? Then on the other side, it's, ah, oh, that ain't no soldier. That's got to be one of them crisis actors. What? They have a baby with them. They're, they're huddling all these, like, uh, not hostages, refugees and trying to figure out, like, okay, wh what's going on? Who are you? Where are you from? How did you get here? Ah, oh, oh, that baby's a crisis actor. Like, what the fuck? 
And it's like, okay, well, this person they summer across this group, they summer they come across soldiers, like, okay, are these real soldiers? Or what? Because, like, they're not speaking English, but they're supposed to be being hunted in Ver. What? What the fuck is going on? It's just. Should you watch it? I mean, it's free, so if you have Amazon Prime, go ahead and watch it. Just be ready for this how fucking. Like, the satire is very, very thick in this. The satire was a fog, it'd be Silent Hill. <laughs> but should you watch it? Yeah, I'd say you should watch it. It has some good humor, and just laughing at the how stupid and over the top some of the stuff is, is hilarious. So, yeah, go ahead, give it a chance. And as always, like. Subscribe. Count on blowing half one hell of a day.